the first name, spell it, and then just talk about what you uh, have seen going on so far. Jordan, J-O-R-D-A-N. Um, so I've just been out here kind of watching, and I mean, there's been tons of cops. It seems like all the medicals kind of left, but sounds like something pretty, something pretty crazy. I mean, it's all unconfirmed until the news gets to it, but I mean, I've been here before. It's a pretty family-friendly place. Wednesdays is pasta nights, you know, you go get dinner with your friends and come out here, so it's not exactly something I would have expected to go on, but I guess you wrote Never Really Know, but it's definitely a tense environment. A lot of people out here saying that they know people have been inside or, or were on their way there, so it's definitely pretty crazy. Awesome, thank you so much. Everybody, I want to start by thanking everybody for, for being here. Um, as you would expect, tonight has been a very, very difficult night for everybody involved, for the entire community. Um, I want to start by offering condolences to the families of the victims and the entire Tribuco Canyon community. Cook's Corner, the location where this tra tragic incident occurred, is truly a beloved part of the Tribuco. So a little bit of information about what happened tonight at about 7.04 p.m. Deputies responded to multiple 911 calls of shots being fired at Cook's Corner. The caller stated that the male fired four to six shots. About two minutes later at 7.06 p.m. Deputies arrived on scene and dispatch could hear gunshots in the background. At 7.08 p.m. Deputies then confronted a male subject that was armed with a gun. At that point, a deputy involved shooting occurred uh, and that involved multiple deputies. At this point, the man believed to be involved in the shooting is deceased at the scene. At least one weapon has been recovered at the scene and we have been made aware that the suspect may be retired law enforcement. 
We are working to confirm that information as we speak. I want to remind everyone that we are just three hours from the time that this shooting occurred. We still have a number of people, a number of witnesses that we need to interview, and we're going to be processing the scene uh, throughout the night. So I, I, I ask that you uh, be patient. We're trying to provide as much information as we can. Um, but again, it's a very complex and detailed scene, and we have folks out there working throughout the night uh, processing the scene. Uh, I want to thank our partners from the Orange County Fire Authority uh, for their assistance and their response. And for uh, I want to thank also the Trauma Intervention Program who responded. They are a group of volunteers who respond and assist uh, with many of our victims, victims' families, witnesses, and those that experience and observe this uh, really tragic incident. I also want to thank our federal partners from the FBI and the ATF for here also assisting as needed. Um, now at this point, I will turn it over to Chief Brian Fennessy to provide uh, an update. Thank you. 7.05 p.m., Orange County Fire Authority firefighters responded to assist the Orange County Sheriff's Department for a warrant of shooting and immediately entered into unified command with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. OCFA firefighter paramedics treated and transported six people to the local trauma center, five of which had reported gunshot wounds. The other four, or two of the six people we transported, are in critical condition. The other four are in stable condition. In addition, four people were pronounced deceased on scene by our firefighter paramedics. This tragic incident weighs heavy on our community and the first responders, and our hearts go out to all those involved. Thank you. As I mentioned just a few minutes ago, obviously we're only a couple of hours removed from this incident, so we're willing to take a few brief questions, but please be patient with us as we just, we don't have a lot of detail. Sure, can you so, go ahead? Jeff, what can you tell us uh, about the fact that this is uh, possibly a domestic violence incident that the gunman shot his wife inside of the bar? So the question was, is this possibly a domestic violence incident involving a, a male and a female subject? That's part of the ongoing investigation. Obviously, we're getting a lot of uh, the same information, but as I mentioned, we have a number of witnesses um, that are down at Cook's Corner that are being interviewed now. So I think it's too early to confirm any of that information. Um, but getting some of that same information, working to confirm it. Jeff, what can you tell us about the four people were killed? I'm sorry. I'm what could you tell us about the four people that were killed? Were their ages and were they women, men? The question was about the four that um, are deceased. I don't have any of the information. I don't. I don't know gender or age or any details at this point. Sure. Can you go into why you think that the shooter may have been former law enforcement and that uh, have you been in contact with the Ventura County Police Department or Ventura Police Department and is it a former officer out there? The question was about whether or not the, the shooter was a prior law enforcement. We are just getting some of that preliminary information. It's way too early to confirm any of that, whether it's a specific agency, uh, whether he's actually retired or where he retired from, um, but we're working to confirm that and would expect to have that information maybe tomorrow. Did you get that from, from scene, from, from people who knew him on scene, or is that something that you I, I don't have those details. I'm sorry. So Jeff, what do you know about the gun so far? We heard from a witness that he came in with two handguns, then went to a truck and recovered either a rifle or a shotgun. Uh, what can you tell us about the gun and the ammo? Yeah, the question was about uh, weapons that may have been used. The only information is what I, I said earlier, we recovered at least one weapon as to what type of weapons they are, or whether he went and retrieved another one, I, I don't have that. Can you describe again, Jeff, the encounter when your deputies arrived? Please tell us, and what was dispatch hearing? Again, very brief. Deputies were on scene very quickly, within a couple of minutes. Um, as they arrived on scene, when they key up their radio, dispatch can obviously hear what is happening around them oftentimes. Uh, and it, it is our understanding that dispatch could hear gunshots going off. Was there the an exchange of gunfire between the responding deputies and the alleged shooter? I don't know if it was with the alleged shooter. I know there was a deputy involved shooting involving multiple deputies. Um, at this point, I think it's safe to assume that, it, that they would have um, engaged the, the shooter, um, but I don't have any, I don't have specific details. Can you just to confirm this happening to this community? Uh, mass shootings in Orange County are not exactly very common. What it's like to 
it's, it's obviously a horrible and a tragic situation. Um, these types of shootings are, are not commonplace here in Orange County. Um, fortunately, when these things do happen, um, I think we have some of the, the best and most well-trained professionals that respond in the Sheriff's Department and the Orange County Fire Authority. But as you mentioned, yes, it's an absolute tragic event and something that I know is probably weighing very heavy on the entire Tribuco Canyon community. Cook's Corner, I mean, it's a staple here in South Orange County in this area of Orange County. So it's, uh, it's a significant thing. And can you yeah, just clarify the four? How many witnesses your detectives are now pulled aside and talk with to try to get a sequence of events? What happened? Why it happened? I'm hearing upwards of, of 30 to 40 witnesses possibly. These are people who were not injured, not wounded in any way by what happened there. They just got out of the scene. That's my understanding. So then, Jeff, how many guys went in to do this? What's your protocol on an active shooter? Is it arrest or is it neutralize the threat? Which way did it go? I don't want to get too much into that because I don't know the specifics um, of the incident other than that there was somebody shooting. But our training or our protocol tells us that we would engage engage that suspect. Yes. So if you're under arrest, raise your hand, stuff it. That's all going to be dependent on the situation. I don't want to speculate at this point because I don't know exactly what the deputies encountered when they arrived. So just for clarification, the four witnesses. people who are deceased, one of them is the gunman? Yes, that's correct. And that, that's, the, the, that's not including the gunman. Do you know the if they the let you was at, the, at Cook's Corner at the time or showed up, or is there any information about that? I don't. I don't have that information. I know when the deputies arrived, he was at Cook's Corner, how long he had been there, what, what happened preceding their arrival or that call to dispatch it. How many people were in property? the bar at the time? And is there a relocation center at all for people wondering where their loved ones may be? And where are those loved ones if they're missing? So I don't know the exact number. As I mentioned, we've got investigators down at the scene that are interviewing folks. Um, we don't have any type of a reunification center, but those people obviously would have the ability to reach out to loved ones and let them know that they're okay. Is there an update on the conditions of the other people? Shot. I don't have that shot. information. Uh, Orange County Fire Authority may have some of those details. Did we know that one? six were transported, as the chief said, two were critical. Did Did you have video all of the casualties inside the confines of the bar itself, or was anyone wounded outside? I don't have those specifics. I'm Do you sorry. know where the shooter was engaged? Because there's a video that said the shooter went back out to his truck to be alone and then was shot at that point. That question was asked, and I, I don't, I don't have those specifics at all. I'm sorry, it's just too early. Again, I, I apologize. It's just only a couple of hours removed, and it's just important that we get through all of the witnesses to find out really, truly what happened. And obviously, if there's any video available, those types of things, we're working on all of that. Are there security cameras at the bar? I, I don't know, and if, but the, if there are, that would be some of the first things that we would. Were children or families put in harm's way there inside of that establishment tonight? I, I would, I would assume. I don't know if there were children there i don't know the number of people i can based on the number of people that we have to interview and witnesses that are down there it sounds like there was there was a number we're of hearing there. perhaps that all of the people that were killed were women are you are, can you not confirm that i us? cannot confirm that can you confirm an age range I, I i don't know i'm sorry and jeff people were shot inside and outside so there are bodies and or wounded sprawled across the property i honestly i i don't I don't know. I'm just at the location, whether they're inside the building, outside the building. I just, I can't confirm that at all. Just one sure. more. Does it appear just from the scene that he was shooting indiscriminately at anyone inside? That, you know, I don't, I don't know. That's going to be involved with um, the witnesses and speaking to the deputies and so forth, but I don't know how that actually happened. I'll take one more Anybody question. Were there, the sheriff? were there other law enforcement officers that were already at Cook's Corner, off duty or not? It's possible, but not that I'm aware of at this point. So, are you all right. at the suspect's Thank you very home much. right now? Are you looking? Are you in, at the suspect's home right now, Jeff? I, there's an investigation investigation that's going on. And where at this does point, that so. suspect reside, or I, did reside? I don't have that information. We're not prepared to share that. So, thank you everybody for being here tonight. We appreciate it.